Here are a few best practices to remember for building and maintaining a good relationship with your subscribers. Number one, do not just send pitches to buy products, whether they're yours or something you're affiliated with. Number two, revisit number one. Number three, revisit number one again. Are you catching my drift? Number four, don't send pointless emails. If you don't have something valuable to say, don't send anything at all and don't waste the time of your subscribers. Number five, send special reports that are free and of immense value given the focus of your niche or product. Number six, here's a novel idea. Send out simple two to three question polls asking your subscribers something they might want to know more about given the scope of your product or service. This is a great thing to do and something I hardly ever see people do when it comes to email marketing. Number seven, keep your subscribers up to date with the big personal things in your life. Nothing builds rapport better than sending out short emails about exciting things in your life. If you're not comfortable with that, post it to a blog. People like to buy from people they know, and when you give them opportunities to know you, the relationship goes a little deeper. Number eight, the best friend test. Ask yourself whether or not you would send this message to your best friend, assuming they had expressed interest, of course, in your area of expertise. If the answer is no, the answer is maybe don't send it. And number nine, the golden rule still applies. Send unto others what you would have them send unto you. Let's take a look at some numbers to really hit this point home. Suppose you have 10,000 subscribers and you've taken the time to develop a mutually beneficial relationship where they feel one, like you are a true friend, and two, trust your opinion and view you as an expert given your area of expertise. Imagine there is a product or service that will address a specific need they have and after your investigation, you decide this is truly something your subscribers will benefit from having. After crafting a wonderful message, you hit that send button. Now before we crunch the numbers, let's backtrack for a minute and see what would happen if you had not taken the time to develop a good relationship with your subscribers. And regretfully, this is something I know from personal experience. Here's what will happen. You get a lot of people who click the unsubscribe link. After all, they just as fast assume it was spam since they don't even recognize who you are. Remember the whole part about getting a list but never do anything with it until you want them to buy something? Yeah, now you see why you shouldn't be doing that. Secondly, maybe only 5-10% to 10 of your subscribers will even open the message. With a list of 10,000, that would be 500 to 1,000. So okay, that's a pretty big number. We can live with that. Or can we? Of the 500 to 1,000 that open the message, only 10% of those actually click through to see the product you're recommending. 50 to 100. Okay, not too many, but hey, it's still 50 to 100 targeted clicks, right? Now of those who actually open the message and click through to the product, only 1% of your subscribers make a purchase. So when you do all the number crunching, that comes down to one sale. You then decide it wasn't a good product and it wasn't your fault and email marketing doesn't work and you just move on. Now let's take the same 10,000 subscribers and see what happens when you develop a good relationship, establish yourself as an authority, and you send out the same message. For starters, you might get a couple unsubscribers. That's completely normal. But since your list knows you only send out really quality information with very few product pitches or things for them to buy, they know this must be something to look at. Next, let's say you get 75% of your subscribers to open the message. That'd be about 7,500 people. Of those 7,500, let's say another 75% of them click through to see the product. That would be about 5,600 people. And because it came so highly recommended from you, the friend and expert, and then let's add to that a high converting sales page. Let's say you see a conservative 15% conversion rate. You know what that would equal? 840 sales. Now imagine the commission was $30. Well, in that one email, you've just made $25,200 in one email. Before you think that's impossible, let me tell you it most certainly is not. As a matter of fact, I know of fellow marketers who make much more than that with just one email. And believe me, it was not because they were hyping the product as something their subscribers had to have. 
Lists can be of immense value when handled appropriately. If you're going to take the time to build an internet business, or if you have a business that you're trying to take and move online to get more customers online, take the time to build your list right. Focus your efforts on making sure the customer ends up with 10 times or more value for every dollar you ask for in return, and then treat each and every one of them as you would your very best friend. If and when you do this, you will inevitably find success with email marketing.